Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. Today's dress is a really interesting one. I have no idea who made this. Unfortunately, there is not a tag on the outside of the dress or on the inside of the dress. So I would love to give them credit for it because this has several very clever features. First of all, based on the way it feels and fits, Carly and I believe this was made for a larger woman and very likely an older woman or somebody who wanted to have easy access because there are snaps in the crotch, which Carly said do feel a little bulkier than just sort of a normal sewn crotch. But the super clever thing here is a front zipper. I've only done maybe two or three front zippers in making dresses for almost 30 years now. This one is really beautifully camouflaged. It's an invisible zipper. I would have actually put the rhinestones a little bit closer to the zipper, but this whole focal point is really fantastic. The sweetheart neckline looks really great on you, Carly, as does red. In one of the other videos where she was wearing a white ball gown, we talked about how so many dresses look good on her and how to choose, how to narrow it down because there are too many choices. Red would definitely be one of them. Even this focal point here is one of them. Turn sideways, please, ma'am. This skirt hangs just really beautifully off her belly, which is nice. She's got sort of a classic Renaissance t female tummy. And so this hangs perfectly straight off of it rather than, let me sneak in behind you here, rather than being too tight like that. However, if you are making your own dress or considering altering one, know that this, having this go so low, it literally goes below the crotch. So if your skirt is, it hugs your tummy, and you have a point that goes that long, it is very likely going to make your tummy look even larger. So I would not go below the belly button if your tummy is accented in the dress. So we've got sort of a spider web type stretch lace. The sleeves fit really well. Go ahead and keep going, please, ma'am. Uh, actually, let's stop sideways again. So this, you can tell is, this is really large back here. Now, there is not a seam or a zipper up the back, which is good, but if Carly were going to buy this dress, I would definitely come in, I'm gonna go a little bit more, there you go. I would definitely come in, rather than put a seam up the back and ruin this really interesting lace, there are two little darts here you could take in or even just take it in from the side and go that direction, which brings us to the back. Both Carly and I, I don't think I've ever seen a dress with a bum accent. This is kind of a cool feature, I have to say. It's got really gorgeous stoning. It's lace that was very solidly stoned and glued on here, jewels. This is actually a really unique piece. I don't think I've seen this done very often. And I, I'm, not, I'm not actually sure if I like it or dislike it. I think I do like it. Um, it's got sheer panels, just one layer of Georgette or chiffon in the skirt. This is a, a sort of a classic stretch crepe, a little heavy, a little bouncy. So having the Georgette godets really helps lighten up the skirt. Whereas if this, as if these inserts were out of the same stretch crepe, the skirt would be quite a bit heavier. Other than the fact that this dress feels a little, um, loose mm -hmm. and maybe too low. How do you like it overall? I do like it. I like the lace sleeves. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I like sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in smooth. I think in, in smooth, I don't like my arms bare, but other than that, I would definitely buy Yeah. Well, and speaking of smooth, I would take off the floats and just wear this as a smooth gown oh, totally. instead of a standard gown, totally. or at the very least make the floats detachable. So because as far as, so this dress, based on the fact that this has floats, I would say this dress is at least 10 years old because standard skirts now have a lot more volume mm -hmm. to it. So I think this dress has a lot of clever, clever features. Front zipper being my favorite because it's so well done. But anyway, that is it for today's video. Thanks for being here. And if you have enjoyed this video, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. 
go to so like a pro leave me your name and email address and i'll make sure you get my newsletter and any other specials that i have coming out leave me a comment what's your favorite part of this dress um what would you like for it you know if you were making your own dress what aspects of that would you like to use on your dress so that is it for carly and i this is really the last one that we are filming <laughs> <laughs> because they have work to do and I'm gonna move on. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Carly, for bless your heart, trying on so many dresses. And thanks again to Amy and Harrison, the other teacher here who's been assisting me behind the scenes. I could get spoiled with that, let me tell you. And, um, and this gorgeous Overland Park Ballroom in Kansas, it really is spectacular. So there you go. I, thanks again and I will talk to you another day. You may have seen Carly in other videos a while back. This is our fourth one because there is a closet here that has at least 20 dresses. <laughs> one of the students here who has had to retire is selling a bunch of her gowns and Latin rhythm dresses, and so they're all for sale. If you're interested in buying this dress or any of them that you see Carly in, just go to the link below and email Amy at Overland Park Ballroom.